Israel's parliament has returned from its break to start the summer session as the ruling government continues to fight for its survival after losing its majority during the break. The political turmoil intensified after former whip and Yamina politician Idit Silman defected from her party last month to join the opposition Likud. This led to the governing coalition of Prime Minister Naftali Bennett losing its majority in the Knesset. The crisis was aggravated after Islamist Arab party Ra'am decided to freeze its membership in the coalition due to recent flare-ups at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. If the Arab party were to pull its four seats from the coalition, the bennett Lapid government would find itself in a clear minority. Meanwhile, opposition parties are now considering a no-confidence motion against the government. On Sunday, opposition party heads held a meeting at the Likud party's headquarters in Tel Aviv, agreeing to continue the determined and unified fight to topple the government. The opposition is also reportedly weighing whether to bring forward a non-governmental bill to disperse the government on Wednesday. If passed in the preliminary debate, it would then be discussed in future sessions for a final approval. We on correspondent Jody Cohen reports from Elad. I'm in there, lad, at the scene of a terror attack in which three men lost their lives at the weekend, leaving 16 children orphaned. Following further attacks and attempted attacks in Jerusalem and Tekoa, Israel is preparing for a civilian volunteer force to join the police and army in helping to defend its communities. It's also considering whether to target Hamas in Gaza for inciting violence or to pursue those involved in violence in Jenin, where many of the perpetrators have come from. This comes amid the reopening of the Knesset, Israel's parliament today, and possible no-confidence votes in the coalition government in the coming week. With a deadlocked parliament, all eyes will be on the Islamist Ram party to see if they will stay in the government, as their leader Mansour Abbas apparently would like, or if they will leave as party members consider their political futures. This is Jody Cohen for We On, World as One.